All right, everybody, welcome back. You ready to dive in? Today, we are tackling something I think we all crave a bit more of, especially these days, and that is calm. Calm, yeah. Like, seriously, who out there doesn't want to feel a little more zen, a little more at peace, even when life feels like it's on fast forward? I mean, who wouldn't, right? Exactly. And full disclosure, when I first saw Mindfulness as the book for this deep dive, part of me was like, ooh, that might be a bit too chilled out, even for me. Uh -huh, yeah. But let me tell you, this book, it's got some seriously practical stuff in it. It's not about becoming some meditation guru, but about finding those moments of calm in the everyday. In the thick of it. Exactly. And the whole thing hinges on this idea that maybe, just maybe, the key to calmness isn't about trying to control every little thing. That's what's so interesting, right? The book challenges this really deep-seated instinct we have to fix everything, make everything perfect, you know? Oh, I know that feeling. But it suggests that sometimes, and I know this sounds kind of counterintuitive, but sometimes the quickest path to peace is actually through acceptance. I can already hear some people out there thinking, wait, what? Acceptance? Like, just give up. Yeah, it's not about giving up. It's about choosing where you direct your energy. Like, think about it. We've all been stuck in traffic, right? You're late, you're honking, you're stressed. But did any of that actually get you home faster? Never. Right. And that's precisely the metaphor the book uses, that traffic jam. Because it's such a universal experience of frustration. But it's also a perfect example of a situation where we have zero control. Uh -huh. We're stuck. Yeah, it's about recognizing that, acknowledging it. Okay, I'm in this traffic jam. We can't wave a magic wand and make it disappear. Right. But what we can control is how we react to it. And sometimes just that simple shift in perspective, going from fighting against it to accepting it, can actually lower our stress level. And don't think this is just about traffic people. This applies to so much in life. Like that deadline at work that feels impossible, or let's be honest, those people, you know the ones who just push your buttons. Oh, we all have them. It's so easy to get caught up in the frustration, the overwhelm. Totally. But mindfulness offers this different way of approaching those situations. It's about taking a breath, and this is something they emphasize, and reminding yourself, this is tough, no doubt, but it's temporary. That shift in perspective, that's where the real power lies. I keep thinking about that story in the book about Jake. The late flight, right? Total nightmare scenario for most people. But instead of letting it ruin his day, he makes a conscious choice. Oh, I love that story. He accepts the situation, finds a quiet corner, grabs a book, and actually manages to find some peace in the middle of what could have been a completely stressful experience. It's a perfect illustration of how much power we have in choosing our response to a situation, right? Jay couldn't control the airline, but he could control how he reacted to it. And that's something we can all do no matter what life throws our way. Think about it. What's a recent situation where you could have maybe channeled your inner Jake a bit? What if, instead of getting frustrated, you'd opted for acceptance? I think it all comes back to being present, you know? Being mindful of what's happening rather than letting ourselves get swept away by all the chaos. Absolutely. And just to be clear, mindfulness isn't about being passive. It's not about becoming some sort of emotionless robot. Right. You're not just giving up. It's about making conscious choices about how we respond to things. Well, recognizing what we can and cannot control, and then choosing to focus our energy where it truly matters. I love that. Yeah. So here's a little something to ponder as you go about your week. Yeah. This is actually straight from the final message of mindfulness. Experiment with letting go of control in small ways. Ooh, I like that challenge. Just small things. Mm -hmm. And see what happens. What changes? What do you notice? It's all about finding those little pockets of calm in the chaos of life. Exactly. And hey, we're here to help you every step of the way. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep with us.